A school full of new rules like every other, from separate entrances for year groups to one-way systems. For year 11s, it's a crucial time after missing out on months of GCSE coursework. Online teaching had mixed success, but they're feeling optimistic. We've gone over subjects and some people have understood it, others didn't understand it at all. But teachers are supporting us and we've been able to recap over these things and we feel a lot more confident with the stuff that we missed out on. And also this year they provided us a period six every day, so that's an extra five hours across the week that we get given to catch up. And all our teachers are going over everything from lockdown that we were meant to have taught ourselves just to sort of consolidate that, which is really helpful. Managing COVID has become something of a science lesson in itself, from keeping rooms well ventilated to comprehensive seating plans. So far there's been one identified case in the school, with only a small fraction of the pupils sent home. We had to send home 40 Year 9 students um, and those students were identified using our um, online seating plans. We were able to identify the students who had sat within a two metre radius um, because we have that for every single classroom across the school. Uh, we were able to track social groups, children that walk to school with each other um, and then as a team we contacted all of those children and within a very short space of time we'd contacted all the parents and those children had gone home. A spacious modern building helps too. The head teacher is grateful for the effort made by everyone in the surrounding community. It's definitely a challenging time for all of those involved in schools as it is a challenging time for children and their families and we're all worried and want to do the right thing. What I can say is from what I've seen in our community, people are following the guidance. We are all you know, making our, doing our very best in these times and, and it is that real sense, of, uh, real sense of community. And the students have just been absolutely amazing. They've come back, they've put their face coverings on and it's just their new version of normal. Year groups are being kept apart and there's no football at break times and a reduction in some activities but everyone is glad to be back. It's a bit weird because usually you'd be out there with all the other year groups and but now you can't. So we're in a year group bubble and um, I think it's been very nice because Year 7 have, um, we've met a lot of new people and met a lot of new friends. So if you have a friend in Year 8, you can't really see him because he's in another bubble with Year 8. To be fair to the school, they were naturally nervous about having us as visitors around the school building, something they've cut back on this year. But they've also been pleasantly surprised that given how the temperatures dropped this term, how few pupils they've had to send home with possible symptoms. But with winter still ahead, Everyone is well aware that there's no room for complacency if the virus continues to spread around the West Country. Richard Lawrence, ITV News.